Welcome to When Disaster Strikes. Even the best applications crash from time to time, and there's no doubt that a crash can be a pretty stressful situation. Let's look at what happens if a project crashes in touch designer and what we can do to ensure a graceful recovery. I'm going to go ahead and open a default project file, myproject.to. And what we're going to do is we are going to crash this file. I am going to split the pane layout left and right. And then on the pane type on the right hand side here, I'm going to change it to text ports and DAT. And what I want to do is write a simple script to crash this project. And it is project dot quit open parentheses crash equals true with a capital T. I'm going to click enter. And here we can immediately see we have a fatal error message. It states that touch designer has encountered an error and must close and it will attempt to save my current file to the location where my project was. Additionally, we'll see a second error and that states that it is saving a diagnostic file to the same location and that is a dot dump file. And it's important to note that this dump file is really, really helpful for um, derivatives to be able to troubleshoot why it may have crashed. So they may sometimes ask you to share that with them. And I'm going to click OK. So an important thing to note is that that crash autosave file has crash autosave appended to the front of it. And additionally, we have that dump file that says touch designer crash, and it has a special number associated with the version of touch designer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click on the crash autosave project file. And we have that message here. This crash autosave file opens in a safe mode. So safe mode works a little bit differently than other project files. This file can be edited, but all of the operator outputs will be disabled until the file has been saved and reloaded. So I clicked OK. Let's see that open up. And indeed, we can see that it did see save my latest work because I do have this text port. And I can't actually see anything of the outputs, but I can see this safe mode text that this file can be edited, but all operator outputs will be disabled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an operator. Let's add an HSV adjust. And I'm going to go ahead, file, save as. I want to make sure that I save this with a recovered or some additional name to describe that it is a recovered file. And I'm going to do that before the incrementing that touch designer does every time I save just so that I can maintain that, that numbering reference. I'm going to click save and I'm going to close it. So now I have my project recovered that is different from my original project, which crashed. So if I click on my project recovered, what we should see is that the work that I did inside of my crash autosave saved and it did. I do have that HSV adjust. It did save my pain layout. So I am able to start working right from the moment just before that crash and after opening my crash autosave and saving my work. So that is one really helpful thing when working with touch designer is that you have that ability to have a crash autosave to save that work up until that last moment, right before you crash. One last thing I wanted to show you here is troubleshooting in touch designer. This is a great page for looking at how to troubleshoot, how to optimize and specifically how to navigate crashes. So there is a section on crashes and troubleshooting tow files that gives you some additional details on crash autosave, opening touch designer in safe mode and additional startup error dialogue and other details that you might need when debugging what happened with your touch designer project. Hopefully you won't need this information, but it is here if you need it.